Today is 22nd of June 404, about 55 minutes before the market closes. Market currently trade inside day. Down uh, 5 point at 3218. Now this happens after the very sharp run up, MAC resistance at about 3280 followed by a sharp retracement and this is probably attributed to the sell down in Capital Corp, Sand Corp and SIA. So today inside day is a temporary hot, notice the low volume. Uh, it's important whether the support here can hold this at 3210. Uh, this is quite significant, mentioned in the past, this coincides with this gap support. Uh, another level to watch out for is 3170. Immediate resistance is actually at this pivot high here at about 3276 to 3280. Now let's take a look at the US market. This is uh, S&P 500, a uh, very nice break and nice run up, follow through and uh, broke this resistance as well, followed by inside bar. Uh, it is perfectly normal because stock market never go in a straight line. This is not that much stronger. Notice a very powerful move here. And it actually broke this resistance here with a wide range bar followed by inside bar. So this is very healthy. Uh, it's important to actually note that actually um, US market is actually not broad based, confined mainly to the tech stocks. Now there will be still some jittery in the markets uh, after the Federal Reserve announcement. Uh, we have a interest rate uh, hot, uh, but there are further interest rate hikes uh, to end of the year. This is uh, brand crude, uh, very weak bound mentions previously, and uh, very concerned is whether the seventy dollars can hold. Breaking this will be extremely negative because this is a very significant support level and it has been respected on many occasions. Uh, the issue right now is that there is actually demand side. So demand is actually extremely poor. In particular, China recovery appeared to be very patchy. This is the 10-year Treasury yield. Uh, marking time actually stuck in the trading range. Uh, sideways move here but it's approaching this downward trend line. Now breaking this will be extremely um, negative for equity market in general uh, but this is currently a temporarily hot below this resistant level. So there's something we need to actually watch out. So US dollar has actually uh, weakened against some of the major currency. I have noticed actually this uh, correction bar but against the Japanese yen yeah, that is strengthened quite significantly. Uh, this is mainly because actually the um, Central Bank of Japan has actually uh, cut interest rate. So you notice actually the yen is extremely weak. Let's now attention to some of the strong stocks we'll be discussing. This is same coin industry. Now I mentioned in one of the postings that this is the terminal phase. If you take a close look the angle of ascent has changed. So this is what I mean and you notice the daylight. And over here we have a sign of weakness. It managed to close high but actually the volume dropped off. So it does indicate that that perhaps is the peak. It's losing momentum. We expect a correction but this sell down is unexpected. And obviously over the weekend we have the news um, on the wholesale price cap on the electricity price and that's actually affected the uh, power generations company. So Semcorp and Capricorp actually uh, reacted negatively to the news. So uh, usually after a bounce like this, uh, after a collapse in price, we do expect bounce but we do not trade the bounce. Uh, so we do expect a couple of swings. Uh, we good to actually wait for it to actually settle. When it gets quiet, that will be interesting. So we see that in uh, Capricorp as well. Um, this is a very nice consolidation breakup and usually we do expect a shallow pullback after a consolidation breakup and this is in reaction to the news. Otherwise this is a very nice um, consolidation patterns. Uh, again so we do expect a couple of swings and uh, just we need to exercise patience to wait for the consolidations, uh, the normalizations to complete. SIA, 
Again, regional markets we have weakness, and you can see that also uh, in SIA. But it's pretty obvious the stock has run ups. Uh, notice the increase in daylights, and right now daylight is closed. So again, uh, we just let the stocks consolidate and to form a new base, and look for eventual break. This is the uh, dynamic on the stock that actually holding up. Uh, nice run ups. Notice actually we have series of gap. This is a very powerful move, uh, but again daylight is huge, so you need to actually rest. Notice the last four bars volume are low. This is a good sign. So if you can continue, that will be positive. And eventually look for a break above here because this level appears to be tested more often. Uh, this is at thirty eight cent. Despite the market weakness, we see some strength in Yang Zijiang. Uh, it's actually holding up well. Uh, currently, it trades to inside bar. The contraction setup bar high here is at 135. Again, notice actually the last two bar, the volume generally low. Ford Empire. This stock managed to recover from the support level and this is extremely crucial. Breaking this support will be extremely negative uh, but it managed to hold and run up. And at this point in time here, uh, it actually pulled back with two inside bars. Uh, this is a contraction setup. High is at 106. Now remember, moving average not in order. We are running on the momentum built here. And we can see the run up, we do have increase in volume. Now, uh, this is a high volume resistance here at about 110, so we've got to be very careful. So, the conservative way for this to be taken out and look for the first pullback. MTQ, this stock has run up, it is right now um, pulling back. Very strong move, so right now it's actually retracing. Again, we just have to patiently wait it out. Close up the daylights and eventually look for a break above this high here of. Uh, Four two five. Now, text thoughts has succumbed to selling. Um, AM, this is the strongest of all the text stocks. Uh, over here, we have a pullback below this resistance level and it run up. And if you notice over here, we have a resistance level. There was a momentary break, but experienced a very sharp retracement. Uh, today, it's formed a bottoming tail. Uh, it may bounce from here, but with a deep retracement, usually we do not trade. Okay. We will prefer a shallow pullback, very much like this. This is extremely deep, so usually if it bounces off, it may consolidate sideways with a couple of string. The rest of the tech stocks um, is actually quite weak. This is uh, Franken, and this is a very obvious resistant level. Okay, If you take a look, this was tested on several occasions. We tested on several occasions and it actually pulled back. So again, we just have to observe uh, the price development going forward. Likewise for UMS, this is a less preferred stocks. Uh, notice over here, with resistance, it actually retraced. Uh, again, we just have to exercise patience. Uh, also mentioned Venture. Now Venture mentioned before, it's a stock that is extremely weak. If you look at the bigger pictures, they will be tracing a bearish channel, and so it's actually not tradable. Comfort Delcro. I'd like to write all the momentum built in the recent run up uh, at the resistant levels. Um, I'd like to look for a pullback and take advantage of the momentum built here. So, again, this is extremely weak stocks, but this is just in reaction to the recent news. So I'd like to write on the momentums and if we ever break out it's a hit and run trade. Among the bank OCBC mentioned previously is the strongest of the three. Uh, notice over here we have this run up but followed by a very deep retracement. Uh, again mentioned before banks are generally uh, doesn't give very good odds. Um, this is DBS. Again, stuck in train range, attempting to go up today. Uh, but by and large, you must understand that this is really not trending. Notice the 1326 is actually flat. UOB. Again, notice actually moving averages are flat and they actually cross. 
So it does indicate that actually there is lack of uh, trend characteristics. I fast now let's start actually trading a broadening channel. Uh, we will prefer if the stocks has very tight smooth, but the stocks is actually trading. With the broadening channels and this would actually experience very big swing so at a support you may bounce off again uh, we may see very well swing uh, we will prefer something like that much easier to handle uh, but then we uh, like to see whether you can hold at the support level here best world now best world actually uh, experience severe sell down and at that support here, and this is pretty obvious, at this support level here, it managed to actually found support and move up. And uh, perhaps due to market weakness, it didn't quite follow through after this uh, nice break. Uh, but do you think this retracement, you'll notice the volume is not very high. Today it traded a bull bar, but nothing to shout about. Uh, well, it may be stuck in the trading range. Now this support is important. This support is important, so I'd like to see whether it can hold. Let's take a look at some of the weak stock. This is Gunting, Singapore. Notice the 13.26 very directional downward move. Like to look for a decisive break below this low here, and this is at 93 cent. Now, I mentioned before, stock like this, uh, which was actually previously strong, uh, during the downward move itself, it will actually encounter a lot of technical support. So this is the 100 and this is 200 days. So you notice it actually broke the 200 days momentary and then it's bounced off. And breaking this will be very negative because it means that it's actually moving away from the 200 days. So remember strong stocks can fail uh, purely because the institutions are actually cashing in. All right, So uh, it's nothing unusual for a strong stock to actually suffer severe sell down. Uh, this is again another strong sort. This is Delphi. Uh, notice over here. Maybe our struggles and uh, momentary break this support here and bounce off. So technically, this is just a bounce. Now breaking this low will be extremely negative. Now notice 1326 uh, is actually pointing downwards. The 1326 is actually still flat. If we actually move downwards, then this will be in proper orders. And that will be generally negative for the stock. And we can initiate short. Samudara. So this stock is actually hovering at this support level here. So that is at about uh, 865. 8665. So again, we just patiently watch. Uh, breaking this support will be negative. We perhaps can take a shot. The conservative will wait for the first throwback to identify setup. Thai beverage. These are also weak stock, but this is a very obvious support and there's a bounce. Now, whether you can recover or not, it's something we cannot tell right now. Uh, but if you notice, actually, it uh, kind of uh, retraced below the 13 and 13, 26 SMB are still not in order. So at best, this is just trading sideways and I would like to see what happens. It may well fail. So it's not something we should go long, but uh, this is something we do watch. So going forward, market there's some jittery, uh, in particular after the announcement that by Federal Reserve they could be further high after the pause, so the market doesn't respond positively, uh, despite that there's a halt in the interest rate height. Now local market itself, some damage has happens to some of the leaders, Semcor and Capricorn in particular. SIA appear to be very promising, but it just needs some time to lay, consolidate normalize, digest the recent game, and we look for a break on the upside. Now, I mean, if you can actually hold up, it would be good, uh, but today you actually retrace further. Yang Zhejiang is slow and steady, it's coming up, so this is something to watch. For the Empire, if it can break major resistance, that will be generally positive. 